So today I wanted to make a quick video on telling you guys easy ways and simple ways on how you can cut your calories up to like 500 calories a day without you starving to death and without you really noticing like a huge difference in your lifestyle. These are going to be very simple things that you can do in your day to day life to just cut extra calories and we all know that the easiest way to lose weight and the easiest way to lose fat is to cut your calories. Duh! The question is how many calories do you really need to lose? in order to lose weight, right? So if you didn't know, there's 3,500 calories in a pound. So that means you can cut a pound a week if you cut 500 calories a day. Now this doesn't mean just food-wise. This could be like maybe cutting 200 calories in food and then like burning 300 additional calories when working out. So you guys can like play around. 500 calories a day need to be expended in order for you to lose a pound a week and I'm going to tell you guys very simple ways on how you can do so. So let's get it right into it. I want to start off with my like my biggest topic which would be like in this topic in itself has like three different subcategories and this would be drinks like drinking your calories. I'm a firm believer in not drinking my calories like I like food. I like to chew my calories like I don't feel satisfied if I have like a drink like maybe like a smoothie or something to like I don't feel satisfied when I drink it. So I personally choose not to drink my calories and I feel like if everybody was to do that you can cut so many calories a day like you guys don't even know I'm gonna tell you right now so let's start off with things like Starbucks um, I don't drink Starbucks I don't drink coffee in general I'm not a coffee person I'm not I just re I literally just like water but people who have Starbucks every day or maybe even every other day I hope I don't know if everybody knows how many calories goes into Starbucks, but I did open it up on my phone. And things like um, 16 ounce, which I believe is a tall, um, like the tall size, um, a 16 ounce cafe mocha with whole milk has 400 calories. It's 22 grams of fat and 33 grams of sugar. Holy! A salted caramel hot chocolate and the pumpkin spice latte, which is also in the tall size, they have about 300 calories. I know a lot of people that get the large size just because they like it so much. Those are around 600. They can go up to 600 calories with, yeah, with the whole milk, with the toppings like caramel and things like that. can go up to like 650 calories a day. And I know people that have Starbucks daily. Not even Starbucks, just any kind of coffee, like dessert type coffee. So if you imagine, if you just literally cut out your Starbucks or your dessert like coffee, coffee drinks a day that's almost 500 calories gone just there Starbucks has a menu that's under 200 calories also substitute whole milk for skim milk um, things like that you can maybe skip on the whipped cream whipped cream I know it tastes really good but um, if you skip on the whipped cream there goes like a hundred and a hundred to 150 depending on how much whipped cream you get there goes a hundred and 150 calories it may not taste as good as what you're used to but you'll thank me later for it because if you calculate like let's say you get a um, a Starbucks drink or one of these dessert coffee drinks every other day even that's maybe 500 three to 500 calories every other day maybe three times a week that you in itself you can cut about a thousand to fifteen hundred calories in a week if you just cut down how much drinks you're having you know same thing goes with pop I know um, I know some people like when I used to work at a retail store like I would have girls and or guys even they drink three to four cans of pop a day um, and that's each can has anywhere from 100 to 150 uh, 50 calories a day that's like 500 calories a day just going to pop and that in itself does not it's not even beneficial for you like it doesn't really I guess to some people it quenches their thirst but like substitute it for water even if you opt out like one can a day and then just do the rest in water you save yourself like 400 calories just there a day so like little tweaks um, will really help you out especially in drink drink wise because drinks are literally you just drink it like you there's it's so easy to just consume all of the, that liquid and then not really realize how much sugar is going into your body how much um, fat is going into your body, you know, things like that. You really don't realize calories. So try to save like your, your, the dessert type drinks for the days that you are going out, the days that you're really craving and the days that you're having cheat days, you know, the whole purpose of a cheat day is so you can enjoy the meal. There's no point in having a cheat day because if you're cheating every day, like you don't, you, you'll appreciate the food more if you know what I mean. Um, next would be alcohol. 
once again I don't drink alcohol like I never have a lot of people like you know diet throughout the week and then on the weekend they're like yeah I'm gonna go party like I'm gonna go do this and then they end up drinking alcohol and then the calories that they're consuming in alcohol end up being more than the calories that they they lost during the week like um, I don't know how many calories are in like beer or anything but like just pause this video and google it and then like calculate how many drinks you would have a weekend and like you can see you can easily 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 go up to like 800 calories a week uh in just one night like it can possibly get there so if you were to maybe even like substitute out like I don't know, I believe there's light beer, if you can substitute out regular beer for, for light beer, um, if that helps, or just cut down the portion, like instead of having, I don't know, like eight drinks, you have four drinks, like cutting it in half or something, you know, that will work, because you don't want to like go through all, all the hard work during the week and then like have it sabotaged during the weekend, just so drinks would be number one, if you guys can cut your calories in drinks, you will be able to cut down so many calories a day. Um, next would be for cravings. Um, for cravings, I do this all the time. Like, you know, when you're craving something, let's say you're craving chocolate, let's say you're craving chips, you go to the store and then you pick up a large bag of chips and one of those large bags of like full of chocolate. I do this all the time. I'm guilty for it. But instead of picking the large bag, why not just pick a single portion size? Like, you know, the ones that are like the Halloween size or maybe even a little bit bigger. Pick up a single portion size of a, like a bag of chips and then a single chocolate bar that way you get your like you know you you satisfy your craving yeah of course it's 300 or 400 calories whatever you may be but you're not tempted to eat the entire bag where an entire bag of chips could be easily like 1500 calories and um you're just eating out of the bag you know because you don't realize how much you're eating so definitely pick up single size portions don't pick up the large bags and you will thank yourself later because your craving is going to be satisfied anyway. And if you're anything like me, if you have a full bag of chips, you're going to want to finish the full bag of chips. So why not just help yourself out and get the smaller portion and then you can just eat the smaller portion and then be good for the rest of the day. Try to steer away from nuts. I'm not saying to not eat nuts because they are very hearty and have healthy fat, but nuts are very high in calories. Um, about an, an ounce of mixed nuts is about like 175 calories, and we all know that nobody can eat just a handful of easily three ounces can be like 525 calories like right there in front of you so what I would suggest is I know in like in my house my mom keeps in all like the peanuts and the mixed nuts in a large bowl and people can just like we can just like pick out of it and eat I would highly suggest to like put them in smaller bowls because um, research studies have said that like if they're if you have food in a smaller bowl you will eat less and if it's in a larger bowl you know if you have a larger plate you will eat more so keep it in small portions or also you know what just do um you can have like pistachios two ounces of pistachios are about 175 calories so like peeling the pistachio uh, taking the nut out of the shell will help you to slow down how much you're eating and then you'll realize that you're fuller faster but i would really suggest like you know nuts are great for you of course but obviously in portion sizes they're very high in fat and it's very easy to eat a lot of them and like five to six hundred calories you can eat in one sitting um so if you portion it out to like one ounce i know it's not a lot but one ounce instead of like three ounces you can save yourself 400 calories right there substitutes are amazing especially for people who are just starting out you guys will be amazed at how fast you guys are going to drop like your weight just by substituting these things like i'm not even kidding you come back to me in two weeks and let me know like lots of people just lose weight without even going to the gym by cleaning up their diet like it's crazy okay so the last little bit that I want to talk about are just quick, easy ways that you can substitute f substituting food um, to lose 100 to 250 calories and saving those calories. So things like, um, I know a lot of people have orange juice or milk in the morning. Instead of whole milk, opt out for almond milk or skim milk. You can save yourself like 100 calories in breakfast right there. Instead of orange juice, like instead of having an 8 ounce glass or 16 ounce glass of orange juice, have a medium orange instead um, that will also save you around 120 calories now juice orange juice is great for you but there's also a limit because having an English muffin instead of a bagel can save you 250 calories because opt out for like an English muffin and then you can still kind of have your cream cheese or whatever you put on there and you can still save yourself 250 calories in the morning by doing that <coughs> That was weird. 
Um, now, I think I mentioned this before in my chili recipe. If you like, like if you like making chili or you know something that includes ground beef, opt out for ground chicken or turkey instead of lean ground beef. Substituting mayo for hummus or um, even like mustard, like dipping like your tortilla chips in like salsa. Do it with like vegetables instead. It's not gonna taste as good. I know. Trust me. I know. But when when your cheat day comes around, you're able to indulge in those things. Just remember that. But just in a daily kind of thing. Instead of dipping your tortilla chips into salsa or hummus, do vegetables. For pizza, if you're craving pizza, which I know a lot of you guys probably crave pizza, I don't like pizza. I'm one of those rare pe people that I like don't like pizza. I really don't. But if you like pizza, opt out for thin crust pizza, pizza rather than thick crust. Oh my god, I thought there was a bug on me. <gasps> Almost had a heart attack. Anyways. So yeah guys, try these things out. I know there weren't that many, but you can find so many on the internet, like basically everything that you can find. Try these out and I'm telling you, you will thank me. You don't understand. Lots of people don't understand how many calories they're getting from like little things like food or drinks. And if you can like substitute them and just save two to 300 calories a day, hell yeah, why not? Uh, another thing would be like stay away from if for training purposes stay away from the treadmill and like elliptical and like you know like slow ass like <laughs> running and stuff and opt it out for hit training like high intensity interval training blah, 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 high intensity interval training for a few reasons first of all time goes faster time goes way faster um and second of all you don't need to instead of like running or going on the treadmill for an hour you only need like half that time for interval training because it's so intense and then obviously you lose more calories like you lose way more calories in interval training than you do in just steady state right steady state is great i do both so, um, but yeah do that instead and then also lift heavy like i know i mentioned this before lift heavy more having more muscle mass means that you're burning more calories and you're burning more fat so lift heavy you're not going to get muscular you can refer to my old videos for that but lift heavy and build some muscle so you can lose more calories you will lose more calories that way um, just wanted to quickly pop here i literally didn't plan this video i was like yo i should make these videos and these will come very handy this will come very handy for you guys in for the holidays like i know the holidays are coming on so everyone's going to be having like parties and get-togethers so if you can like s substitute a few things at these get-togethers and like with with the stuff that I'm telling you guys you will be so thankful let me know if you guys try these out if you have any other kind of questions that you want me to answer on you know on the camera and upload them leave them down below and I will I will I'll probably just get to them because like I have no life so if you guys have any ideas on like you like your favorite food and you want me to make it in a healthier version leave that down below because I can do that for you I love experimenting and I will make sure it tastes good leave that down below and I will have it out for you guys ASAP but I will see you guys in my next video I hope you try these tips out and if you do let me know